Hello my friends and welcome to Not Famous. There are many new missing cases every day, unfortunately, far more than we could ever cover the due diligence that is needed. Now many of these cases will eventually be solved, whether it is unfortunately through the finding of the bodies of those that went missing or through a happier means in which they come home, although those aren't always as common. And then there are those cases out there that are never solved. Those that go missing and are never found, my friends. Some for decades and decades. Like that of Damien McKenzie. My friends, Damien McKenzie was a young, young boy, only 10 years old, when he vanished without a trace on September 4th of 1974. Damien was with a group of nearly 40 others, uh, a camping adventure, a camping trip, a camp out, and they were going up to a place called Stevenson Falls in the area of Victoria. The camp group had planned on hiking up there that day, and he was last said to have maybe ran ahead of the group on his way up towards the falls himself. It was said that Damien was with two other close friends, the trio spent that time at camp together. They spent that day together. They were on the hike together. At some point, Damien just went missing. A certain amount of time, the uh, leaders of the camp realized that they needed to get authorities involved. Police came and looked. Detectives came and looked. This actually ended up becoming one of the largest police search efforts in the area's history. Over 300 people searching the area that day, that week, including his family, and many different agencies involved using technology canine searching dogs. Now the dogs, for some reason, couldn't find a scent for him. These are well-trained dogs that are given items and are generally able to find a scent. They, for some reason, could not find a scent. They did identify his footprints leading up to the top of the falls area. And a strange thing happened, my friends. The footprints just seemed to stop out of nowhere as if he was, you know, abducted or beamed up, one of the theories that's out there. A number of theories about what exactly happened to Damien. Is it possible that he tripped and fell and landed in some bush area and just, you know, unfortunately had an accident and was never found? Is it possible that he fell down the falls and into the river below? Is it possible that he was abducted by somebody, by some kind of stranger or something else? Now the reality is, this was a massive search effort. Every foot of that area was searched heavily. There's no footprints that show him going anywhere else. His group of friends were with him before he took off running up the hill. There's literally nowhere else for him to go. They never found a body, my friends. And they also searched all the water below. Where the falls goes, there's a shallow area of water that leads to the river. However, there's a lot of rocks and stuff there, and they just don't believe that it's possible that he would have actually floated all the way through that. They think that if he would have fell, that they would have found him at this point. That leaves other questions. Did somebody abduct him? His footprints just stop immediately in the ground, as if something took him, picked him up. But nobody saw anything. Nobody saw anybody strange or mysterious in that area, and there's over 40 people in this area at this time and he was going uphill. There's really nowhere that they could have gone and to just have taken him without hearing anything or seeing anything. There's just stop. Dogs can't get a trail. Then you have people saying, well, maybe he was abducted by a UFO or something crazy like that. Now, I'm not saying I believe any of that, my friends. Um, if something supernatural happened to him, they definitely did a good job because he's never been found. He's never ever had a chance to grow up. And his family has continued to search for many years, although now decades have passed. And to this day, nobody has ever found or heard from Damien McKenzie since. Strange case, my friends, and it's one that if it happened to you or somebody that you know or your family would be very tragic, very heartbreaking um, in some ways because there's never any closure. You're always out there wondering. You know, his parents likely spent the rest of their lives wondering what happened to him where he went. Friends, if you like this video, make sure to actually hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, still hit the like button, why not? It's free. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And thank you, thank you, thank you to the patrons of this channel who help me make videos without concerns of whether or not the content is ad-friendly enough for 
the YouTube algorithm to judge me by. Have a great day or night or evening whenever you're watching this video. I hope that it's going well. I will talk to you next week very, very soon. And as always, my friends, adios amigos. Thank <laughs> you.